goes around comes around. You may be a wonderful person, you may be very sincere, you may have done wonderful things, you break the law, and what goes around comes around. There's no escaping divine retribution, period, because it's impersonal. It may take a couple of weeks for it to come back to you. It may take a month or two. But whatever it is you put out there will come back. Bet on it. Jordan Maxwell, jordanmaxwellshow.com, joining us as we get ready to finish up 2016. Uh, he's been predicting the incredible turmoil that's coming, what's happening, but also the awakening to counter that, which the Illuminati will try to take over. But it's always a race. When the Bible says, get behind me, Satan, the devil's always, or that system that calls itself the devil, for always trying to counterfeit what the human mind develops. That's what we've always got to be trailblazing to get ahead of it. That's my view. But till the bottom of the hour, you've got the floor. Before I even interrupt her, I will. Jordan, get rolling here uh, with, with where we are in history. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, uh, Alex, for allowing me to be on. I mean, what do you make, though? I mean, I mean, I think this is a real movement against global government. I think it's a human awakening. Obviously, it's got some infiltrators. It's got problems. But I think it's got the, uh, the elite seriously scared. I think so too, and I'm amazed how, and truly I'm amazed how I, I was talking about this stuff some you know, 56 years ago, and now to see the public finally getting it, finally, finally getting it, uh, I think, wow, it's, it's incredible. Maybe there is hope for the human race if Americans wake up and start doing something with their life instead of just listening to, because uh, like, uh, the, uh, there was a great quote that said, "They will find it difficult. They who have uh, ex they who have accepted the authority as truth, rather than the truth as the authority." So if people begin to wake up and find out that the authorities are not telling you the truth, that's why they're empowered to lie to you. That's why people who are manipulating you, we call them con men because they are, they are involved in a conspiracy. They're con men. They're just la laughing at you and mocking you. So every time you got somebody out there pompous and arrogant who's the main star of something, it's almost as if the universe pulls a rug out from underneath of them. I just think that's interesting and funny. There's a lot more cases like that. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we've got, the, we got some chumps that think they own me and they own my name. They own my, my work and they own everything. Well, they're gonna find out there's a God that's in charge of the universe, not them. Oh, where they're going, where the kid's going, uh, they don't need spiritual awakening. Gentlemen, have you ever heard or read uh, Mrs. Blavatsky? She's... Uh, uh, Alina Petrovna Blavatsky? Right. Yes. right. Yes, I have all of her works. You have? Yes. Well, that's why... Yes. I no, think no. her 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 best work was Isis Unveiled, Part Two, which is uh, theology. Right, science. And uh, that was an exceptional uh, work. I think that Helena Petrovna Bavlatsky, the Russian mystic, was a very wise and perceptive lady, and she had some very profound uh, knowledge. Uh, obviously, in her academic. Uh, uh, achievements were, were extraordinary, and so I have a very high respect for the work of Helena Blavatsky. Now, very quickly, this is Madame Blavatsky. Isn't she a pleasant-looking soul? Doesn't she just look like she exudes the love of Jesus? She was the founder of the Theosophical Society. This woman worships Lucifer. She believes Lucifer is God. She created the Theosophical Society. 
Adolf Hitler came along and he was raised up by these people, financed by these people. He was a theosophist. He read, now Madame Blavatsky wrote a number of books, the best known being The Secret Doctrine. And Hitler is reported to have read The Secret Doctrine on a daily basis. Being a, a very spiritually inclined, past life regressionist type of person, she has you lay on the table and take your rings off and you're watching. She's setting up the candles and lighting candles and doing some sort of a little ritual thing. And I'm just laying there watching her. Paul says she's great, we'll find out. And uh, she's talking to someone. And I'm laying there watching her and she's talking to someone. And I said, who are you talking to? And she said, oh, I'm talking to your friends who brought you here. And I said, oh, okay, brought me to your house? She said, no, 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 your friends who brought you to the earth, you've come here from another place, and they have brought you here to do something. I said, I've often wondered about that. Where did I come from? I mean, really, what am I doing here? And she says, well, and I'm just telling you what she said. She said, um, they are Pleiadians, and they have brought you here to do something and uh, you are ultimately going to be a um, emissary was the word, an emissary for them. They're going to channel through you, they're going to use you, and they will speak through you. summoned the UFOs back at, back in the day when that guy showed you and gave you the Charles M. Fort book. That's when it started. You're a true believer, Jordan. I've always thought that. You think that what you're doing is good, but it, it's just something that you can obviously tell that those angels weren't good. The message isn't good. You are being used to, to spread the one message that the New World Order does really care about, and that is turn away from Jesus Christ at all costs.